Green treasures in our backyard directed by Azoya McGill. When we think of a tossed salad, we think of healthy herbs mixed together to provide a tasty combination. Just like a tossed salad, Miami is a city of diversity. Many of our citizens come to us from many different parts of our nation and the globe, and with them, they bring their knowledge about plants and their medicine uses. Jose D. Diego Middle School citizen scientists interviewed these green treasures, our elders from 18-year-old to 60-plus-year-old, to find out about the medicinal power of their native plant. Many people use plants or herbal remedies to treat illnesses, prevent illnesses, and maintain health. An illness can be anything from an upset stomach to the cold or the flu. Think of a plant or an herbal remedy that you, can, that you have either used or prepared at some point in your life. Oh my god, ginger. Ginger would be one. Um, you boil it in water and you put lemon and honey in it. Um, that's to cure and like a cold or an upset stomach. Ginger really helps with upset stomachs. Um, I know I've never had warts, but my grandma, when uh, family members would come with warts, my grandma would put garlic on the wart, and she would like tape the garlic to the wart, and then it would it would burn it off, and the skin would be like a little it would be like a little rash at the end of it, like a scar where the skin wasn't necessarily healed. But she would use garlic, uh, ginger. I know that um, peppermint leaves are good for a stomach ache. Um, yeah, a lot of them would be stomach problems. I'm trying to think. I know they would use um, orange. They would use orange zest and peppermint um, to help you concentrate or study, or they would put lavender. Plant or herbal remedies? Shepherd needles, aloe, cerise. The flu, cold, chicken pox, 